hello guys and welcome if you are new please subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on such great content in today's video we are going to write a script that will help us to resize images so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to we are going to create a virtual environment command shift p and then choose the interpreter um, i will be using vs code for this for writing this project but you can always use your favorite id and then uh, we're going to install a library that is called pillow pillow is a friendly pil fork by jeffrey a clark and contributors pil or pillow is the python imaging library by frederick lund and contributors so so there we go guys i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to open the terminal or use the shortcut if you will and then i'm going to paste see Beautiful. So I'm going to create a Python file here. Yeah. I'm going to from pillar. Um, P I L S I import image and then let's write a function. Let's write a function that will take in the in input to take in to have a parameter of the input folder which which you will call input and you can always have an output folder and you can all you can also in add a new height and new width parameter so we are going to we're going to we, we are going to use os of course because we are going to access files so we definitely need uh, so for file in uh, in the folder in the input folder so for every file in the input folder, assuming we're going to resize every file that is in the input folder, otherwise it would, this would be unnecessary and you would just use the file path, relative path, in place of uh, this iteration. So for file in OS path list directory, so the image will be image and then we're going to open and then we're going to give the relative path so the relative path will of course be as the path join which is the input folder and then the file so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to resize so the resized image will be and then resize we are going to resize and then it's going to take 
we are going to give it a tuple, a two tuple uh, of width of the new width and the new height. So we're going to to give it the width, which is new width, new width in that order, and new height. So now we're going to so we are going to simply save this. So resize the image. We're going to save. Sorry, resized IMG. We are going to save and we're going to save to outputs. Output folder and then we are going to add the file name. So we are going to save in the output file. So, so that that is it guys. I think we can let me see. If I have a sample picture here so that we can do see is uh, pictures pictures uh, pictures uh, Let's copy this. There's a create a folder and call it input. We're going to inside we're going to paste image let's check its size get in for so the size is 200 by 200 pixels so let's let's see if we can resize it to hopefully it will create the output folder let's see if we can just let's call the function size image input input will be input as no why did we decide to let's save it to let's not do it manual let's save it to now that we we are passing output folder as a parameter there's no need for us to manual write that so output and then the file name so the file name is going to remain the same in the output and the input folder hopefully it will create the output folder otherwise we will be forced to create the output folder and then input and then the output hopefully it will create a folder named because it doesn't exist right now and then we are going to say the new height will be 100 by 100. So let's run and see if hopefully it will work. So why, why, why is it no such file? No such file or directory, so so obviously let's try and create the output folder 
Let's run it again. It was successful. Let's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go to the location and check whether the size has indeed been resized to 100 by 100. So yes, it is now 100 by 100 and it was 200 by 200. So thanks again guys for watching. Uh,